is going to be so valuable for me as I prepare to serve you, hopefully. Yes, indeed. Back to the brown chair. Let me just make sure we're recording. Yes, we are. Oh, man. So a little bit of survival mode, everyone. You know, true love is down, but she's not out. You better believe it. She's hanging strong, getting through this nausea. I'm in charge. Kids are napping. So let's, let's get a few thoughts down on film for all of you on this fine day. Happy Monday. Oh, by the way. Oh, hello. Oh, I'm glad I remember this. Demore 26 for free shipping for DGR merch today. It ends today, everybody, okay? So if you've been thinking about some getting some DGR merch, all right, free shipping right now. Demore 26 is the discount code to use at checkout, all right? We've got Seek Beauty merch. We've got Butter My Bread. Oh, the Butter My Bread merch is, is just beautiful. We've got Turn That Doorknob merch. We've got all sorts of merch, all right? It's all linked down below in the description, but True Love's doing well, but um, I'm just, you know, we're just surviving, we're just getting through these, you know, when you make a daily vlog for five, actually, I almost said five and a half years, but we're heading towards six years, actually, you learn to roll with whatever's thrown at you in this, on this earth, you know? We just, every baby's different, and so this baby's putting us, uh, you know, giving us a little run for our money with respect to the uh, nausea. But anyway, so True Love's napping. The babies are napping. Let's break it down. Running shoe opinions and projections for 2022. Okay, question of the day. What is your... So I have a really critical... If you have two, three, four, maybe five minutes, uh, I'm going to need your help here in a minute. But first, question of the day. What is your bold prediction for 2022 running shoes. And as always, I always do this. Why do I always do this? Okay, let me just bring you a little closer here. This is raw and real, everyone. Okay, uh, what is your bold prediction for 2022 running shoes? Here we go. And so that, you know, I'm, I'll be curious to hear your thoughts. I think it's gonna be a great year. You know, hopefully we continue to come out of this wild world that we've lived in for now two years that through the pandemic. And hopefully companies are able to, you know, ship shoes and get shoes out around the world and for all of us to try and run in. So here we go. Trail shoes, bold prediction. Well, I don't know. Okay. Maybe this is more of a hopeful prediction is that they finally, finally get an Evo Speed Goat out the door. The number two. Uh, that's been my go-to training shoe on the trails for a long time now. I'm hoping that they actually don't change much. Maybe they improve the, 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 maybe they improve like a little bit of grip on that outsole. Maybe that midsole has a little more energy return, but man, that Evo Speed Go is almost, that upper, don't touch it. I'm telling you, Hoka, do not touch it. So that's, that's one prediction for the trails for the road. I'm predicting that the Rebel V2 gets a little more, little more, you know, a little more firm through that midsole. And who knows, maybe they stick a full nylon plate inside. Wouldn't that be wild? I would say the Rebel V2 is poised to give many shoes a run for their money moving forward. Maybe the Endorphin Speed uh, could get a run for its money. The Endorphin Speed 1 or 2. And yeah, so anyway, there you go for the road, for the racing. I think um, I think we were shown that Adidas Adidas can hang with Nike in 2021. A lot of elite, okay, I'm talking about the elite runners around the world. Some world records set in the Adios lineup, okay. I think Adidas is poised to give Nike a run for their money in the carbon fiber rod game, okay? So if you know what I'm talking about, the carbon rods that, that Adidas uses, that's my bold prediction for the racing scene, is that Adidas really steps it up. They, I think they're, they're, they're moving in the right direction. Like, I just don't know who else will. If I had to pick one, I would say... It's either New Balance or Saucony. I'd, I'd lean in the direction of New Balance, actually, as far as competing against Nike and Adidas. Ooh, that's a tough one, though. And again, at the end of the day, 
it comes down to the athlete. Adidas and Nike, they have the best runners in the world. All right, there you go. Okay, so those are some bold predictions. Now, key, key point here is Survey Monkey. Oh man, here we go. I did not do this 365 days ago, and I regret it. You know what I'm? What was I doing sitting in this chair yesterday? I was researching, I was studying, I was underlining, I was highlighting these books, these running books that I have about running shoes and running shoe production, trying to stay ahead of the curve for all of you as I continue to discern the future of this YouTube channel and what we do for running shoe reviews for all of you moving into 2022 for Survey Monkey. Here's the deal. I would appreciate it if you could. DGR. If you, you know, a lot of people ask Seth, how could I help? This is how you can help. Okay. I will link to the survey uh, in the description. I'll link to it in the comments and I'll try and pin it to the top as early as possible. If you're watching this when the vlog publishes at 5 a.m. Mountain Time, um, I'll also probably send it out to the DGR email list. Okay. If you are not on the DGR email list and you want to stay up to date, on happenings with DGR, okay, live streams and merch drops and merch discount codes and tips of the week for your running, okay? Sign up for the DGR emails. Again, it's all listed down below. So for the survey, here's one example. Okay, this is what I'm gonna be asking in this survey. How many pairs of running shoes do you buy per year? Um, let's see, what has been your favorite brand, uh, shoe brand in 2021, okay? What's another question? Do you prefer neutral, mild stability, moderate stability, maximum stability? Um, another question I want to ask is, uh, you know, how many days a week do you run? All right. So these are some of the questions. What's another one? I'll give you one more example. Oh, yeah. When researching. Oh, this is a good one. When researching running shoes, what are your top two sources for gathering information about the running shoes you are about to purchase? So the more people from DGR around the world that can contribute to this survey, the more information we'll collect and then I will sh uh, share the results. I will probably let the survey run for a couple of days, not very long. So hopefully you're watching this uh, very close to when the vlog publishes. Again, linked down below. And on that topic of the future of DGR in 2022, um, I want to stay true to what this channel started as, and it started as a, as a story. It started as, it's, that's what I literally said that in the first daily vlog that I published on this channel, um, is that I wanted to share more of my story, I wanted to get better at video production, and I wanted to have fun in the video production process. I wasn't having fun before I started the vlog, and so those were really, as I so simple, three simple goals, but the storytelling. So I want to tr stay true to that moving forward into 2022. Your results and your answers to the survey will help me um, understand better what you're looking for out of this channel in 2022. And the running shoe reviews, like I was, you know, there's some other YouTube channels out there that started, you know, five, six, seven, eight, a decade ago, as far as doing running shoe reviews on YouTube. Now it's a dime a dozen, and I don't want to fall into the running shoe tuber um, space too far. And it it's you just got to be careful out there in the on YouTube. I'm just telling you, be careful when you're watching running shoe reviews. There's a lot of YouTube channels doing it now, and your again your answers to the survey is going to be so valuable for me as I prepare to serve you hopefully as best as I can in December 2021, in January 2022, and January 2023, and moving on into the future. Sound good? The brown chair, the brown chair, it gives me, it gives me good clarity as I sit here and share with all of you. Here we go, comment of the day, David Ernst. Thank you, David, yesterday talking about our favorite uh, components to a running shoe. David says, let me preface with, I need my boat shoes. <laughs> if you saw yesterday, you know what we're talking about. 13 to 14 wide and a flat foot. Okay, David, we get it. I love it. So my perfect shoe has the bounce of the alpha fly 
add an eight to 10 millimeter drop, a touch of medial support for my slight overpronation, the tongue of the Max Road 5, good call there, Seth. Uh, I, I'm telling you, buy the Skechers Max Road 5 just for the tongue of the shoe. Mwah. The heel flare of my Arahai. Arahai, I never know how to say that. The lockdown of the Nova Blast and the Swallowtail. I like that. The Swallowtail, I like it. I actually have never heard it called that. The Swallowtail of the Mach 4. David, you get the comment of the day. Everyone, that's the vlog. True love. She's, we're, we're making it through. Uh, but that's, that, this is, this, that's life, as Frank would say. That's life. That is the daily blog, and that's how you do it. Close the computer and call it good. All right. Love you all. Thanks for tuning in. We'll toss it to... Um... Mm. I don't even know. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I'll pick one that connects to this blog, but I'm not sure which one it'll be. I'm sorry. I should have chosen that ahead of time. There you go. Right there, right there, right there. All right. See beauty. Work hard and love each other. See you tomorrow.